India has a new cabinet, but it hardly feels so. Prime Minister Narendra Modi began his third term in office on Monday by retaining nearly all his top ministers. That defied speculation that he would cede key posts to allies. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman will serve a second term. She is credited for steering the world's fifth largest economy through a period of strong growth. The Bharatiya Janata Party's allies will sit outside of the four prime portfolios – Home, Finance, Defence and Foreign Affairs. They took five berths in the 30-member cabinet, overseeing industries including steel and aviation. That points to broad policy continuity. The resilience of the stock market after the shock election result also underscores stability. The Nifty 50 index has risen 6% since the day votes were counted and has since hit a fresh record high. But the full price of coalition rule could emerge later. Allies may ask for special funds for their states, or they could simply face less competition from BJP-ruled states for investment when manufacturers like Tesla come calling. The BJP's loss of seats in rural areas will force the new government to prioritize support for the poor. The nature of its spending might change. The next clue will come in the budget in July. For now, Modi has cleared the first lap of a long race. Thank you.